Hello and welcome! I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. This is episode 17 of Let's Play the Prince and the Thane mod for Crusader Kings 2. And where we left off last, I was just like doing murderous plotting and types and stuff, but I was looking around at the world and I noticed that this character here, um, not, not him, but this guy, uh, Duke Gerhard II of Upper Lorraine, he got himself involved in an excommunication war. So unfortunately this guy is excommunicated right now. And I just was looking at this. This is the world's opinion of him. <laughs> Look at all of this red. Everyone seems to hate him. Like, these are the only people that are even close to neutral with him, and it's because they're a bunch of cynical uh, people. So, man, look at this. I mean, like, everyone hates him for being excommunicated. It's a big deal. You don't want to get excommunicated in, in The Prince of the Thane. Um, and so, the other thing I want to do is um, let's just take a look at, uh, like, cultures. One thing I've noticed and I never really mentioned was that um, you know, Scotland is apparently not the proper title in this. It's actually Alba, and I've been calling it Scotland the whole time. Oops. Apparently it's Alba. I, I don't I don't know. Maybe is it like the Empire? The, the, is it the Empire of Scotland or something? Or I don't know, but whatever. So we've got a little bit of money. Um, let's upgrade our capital if we can. A little bit of tax income for that. Was there any other pure tax income structures we could build? Like that peasant commune or whatever it was called? Village Green. Here we go. It's not a lot, but, you know, it's only 27 gold and it leads to other stuff. And I think I did that on one of them. What was it called again? It was called the Village Green. Here we go. So to get the next level... It would lower revolt risk, another quarter of a gold per year. Gives you some pikemen, and it requires castle infrastructure. And it requires a baronial village. What the hell is a baronial village? Let's find that. There it is. Level 3 of this thing. So yeah, it's going to be a while before we can do that. Never mind, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's do... Um, Oh, I don't know. What do I want to do? Let's do this one. I like fort level. I like levy size. That's all good. And we'll build a neck ditch there. Sure, why not? Let's just spend our money. So, um, <coughs> I'm currently trying to plot to kill this bishop, I guess, still. Somebody is doing a tournament. Obviously, we're going to go, because we have one-armed bandit, and we're going to stab people with our shield sword. And I've given the order that another affair should happen. Apparently, a whole year's gone by. Time is going by a little bit quicker now. Whoa, embezzle from. That's a cool event. So he is the steward, and he's got a, um, looks like a child. And what, is he your guardian or something? Bishop Bernard. Nope. He's just the tithing man. The mayor wants to embezzle from the earl. And so does this guy. This uh, court chaplain wants to embezzle from this guy. So apparently it's not restricted to tithing men only. It's just... You know, they want to, uh, let's see, can we read more about it somewhere? Theodric wants to help himself to an adequate re reward for his service to the Earl. Well, that sounds like grounds for imprisonment. In prison. You too. He's fled to the court. Well, you're, you're landed, so I don't really think you can flee. Yeah. You're, you're a landed dude. You're not going to run away. We'll catch you no matter where you go. Now that we have you, um, your opinion of me has been reduced by a lot, minus 100 for, for imprisoning you, but you're not my direct vassals, so it really doesn't matter. Like, they can hate me all they want. They've still got to give me levy. They've still got to pay their liege. They've still got to, you know, like, every. I don't care. So let's ransom them back. This guy is not worth very much, apparently. So we will release that one and ransom this one. If I catch you doing bad stuff, I'm going to take all your money. Do I care about this bishop's opinion? Not really. I don't want to lose piety. I don't want to lose piety. Okay, fine. I'd rather lose 10 prestige and gain 5 piety. I've got an abundance of prestige right now. Not too worried about it. I really need this guy to die. Like now, and I need this stupid. Why? Why are you? You? You're terrible. You're so bad at this.
Here, go try somewhere else. You're obviously terrible at it. Why don't you go... Uh, uh, there. <coughs> okay, that... See, that's, that's more like it. I send him there, and like four days later, my leash, my work, seems to have come to fruition. <laughs> Apparently, he very quickly bribed, cajoled, extorted, and threatened and forged documents. Um, on the earldom. Excellent. So that's the duchy, right? The earldom of... Oh, and it's apparently held by a prince. No. What? I'm confused. He owns the earldom of Gwynedd. Oh, okay. So apparently in this, maybe this culture, they call it an earldom instead of a... Uh, what do we call them again? A shire? They call it an earldom. And instead of calling it a duchy or a... What do we call it again? <laughs> no, we do call it an earldom. Okay, I'm just crazy. Are you a prince? You don't look like a prince. Whatever. 150 gold. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stir crazy. I want to attack somebody. It's time to attack. I'm not bankrupt. What? That's a crap change. Apparently you cannot attack when you have negative money. Damn. Prestige decadence is no longer affecting us. We had prestige decadence happen to us. We had lack of funds happen to us. Okay, so how's that changed? Apparently prestige decadence went down a lot. Lack of funds, though, is pretty serious. Oh, well, I don't care. I want to, uh... Medium city taxes. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, boss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could take a loan. It's like 200 gold. Noble Customs is changed by one. Now, this is misleading. It says Noble Customs is changed by one, but what it means is Noble Customs is changed by point one. I always used to think, man, oh yeah, for one whole level, 60 gold, heck yeah, let's do it. Noble Customs would go from level 1.4 to level 1.5, which is a very significant increase, considering we currently have a 3.28% chance per year of actually increasing it by point one. But I don't want to spend 60 gold on that, so no thanks. Earl blah 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 placed third. My vassal fought well. Good job. I don't really know what that means. Let's see what this thing does. Local tourney. So what what does it mean? Like, okay, I get that you placed well, but does that mean you get modifiers or something? Or Oh there it is. Small tourney, third places. One. So we get point one. he gets 0 .01 monthly prestige for having placed third. Cool. Runners up. What do you get? Let's look at you. Uh, ascetic. I don't know what that means. It doesn't really have a description. So he's placed second. So the more tourneys you go to, you can build up more money. That is so cool. I love this mod. I'm going to play this mod forever. What about... Um, let's look at the next level up of it. The regional tourney. We haven't had any regional tourneys, apparently. Okay, what about the grand tourney? None. Interesting. I'm guessing maybe that lowest level was because my vassals and things were doing it. If I did it, it'd probably be the middle one here, the regional tourney. And if uh, the grand tourney, it'd probably be if my liege did it. That's just a guess. King Harold the Unready has declared the English war for Earl Morcar. That's me. E oh! Interesting. So apparently my liege got a bit stir-crazy, too, and decided it was time to attack him on my behalf. That's nice of him. Let's check this out. So I've just sent him to the wrong spot. I want, I need two titles from here to usurp the duchy so that I can then attack the remaining counts. But yeah, so um, he is attacking on behalf of my claim. So if he wins the war, I gain the title. That's really pretty sweet. <coughs> yeah. Kill that bishop. My wife is pregnant. She She's attracted to a one-armed man. I really should move him. He's not in the right spot. Success! They easily overcame and slaughtered Prince Bishop and his guard. 
Unfortunately, one of the men involved later lost his senses and told everyone willing to listen about my involvement as he drank and fucked away his pay. Okay, so what... who knows then? I hope not everyone. Okay, so that guy's dead. We can see here he was murdered on orders of me. So everyone's going to know that I murdered him. Let's check our vassals, see if they know. He doesn't like me because he's a title claimant. I'm thinking only his the family of that bishop would care, and he wasn't married, so... Desires the earldom of the five boroughs. Earl of Northampton. Why is it that you desire my duchy? Does everyone have that, that problem? Desires the earldom, desires the earldom. Yeah, that's pretty common, apparently. No big deal, then. <clears throat> Thanks for uh, pressing that claim for me, buddy. Oh, apparently I'm leading combat. He has uh, raised my le part of my levy and has put me in charge of this 4,800 men. Or at least I'm participating in the battle. So, in the chaos of the battle, we have managed to corner some guy and killed him. I don't want Craven. I'm not too worried about attacking 18 men, but I hope I don't die to two events. Okay. Uh, let's see, now that he's not my spy master, even though he's got excellent intrigue, he's got some money, so obviously we should put him in prison. Uh, yeah. Since I have a valid reason, no one will care. I can execute him. Hmm. This banishment, though, would be tyrannical. Ransom, I can get 25 gold. He is a direct vassal of mine, so... Unfortunately... I've just reduced the amount of taxation I get from this character, or this from this mayor. If we look at uh, this screen here, I can see he pays me 2.75 gold. And if we find him on Tithingman Morkar, if we find him on this screen, sort by rank, let's find the Tithingman. Him being in prison makes it easy. We can see that he has low opinion, 76%. So he should be paying me 30% of his annual income but he's only paying me 2.1 gold of the 9.2 because he's got low opinion. And it's a perfect ratio. 76% is, he's reduced by, he's negative 24, so it's minus 24% of what he could pay. Now, if I ransom him, his opinion of me will be slightly improved over currently because he won't be imprisoned anymore. Or I could just execute him. And then we get a brand new mayor. This isn't very... He's not a very good mayor, and I've already replaced him as far as... Hmm. Do I want 25 gold right now? Yes. Obviously. It's an easy question when I phrase it that way to myself. Do I want the money now? Well, yes, I do. Yep. Oh, apparently he still has the imprisoned debuff. Or does he not? Released prisoner... Eh, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. He likes me a little bit more than he did a second ago. <coughs> my liege is about to win this war on my, my behalf. Thank you, my liege. The local nobles have complained about too many peasants entering the city during our fair. Tell them to accept them, in which case this Thegan would like me less. He already doesn't like me very much. The Thegan is just this local baron. He just has this, this barony here, this castle. So his opinion of me doesn't really matter. He doesn't pay me any taxes... He does provide me with a small levy. Um, it's kind of complicated. It's difficult to see it from here, but if we checked it here, and we sorted by rank again, we find that silly old Fagin. Um, what was his name again? Fagin Swithraid. Fagin Swithraid, Swithraid. There he is. So he provides me with... It's, it's, he's giving me troops based on the minimum, so his opinion of me is it literally does not matter at all. One bit. He pays me no taxes, and he has to provide me with men, so whatever. Uh, something suspicious. Do I want to be paranoid? Would I right like to sacrifice diplomacy in favor of intrigue? Not really. Yeah, that's fine. Arrest that man. And we've usurped the title. Thank you, my leash. So he's just taken that title for me, uh, which is awesome. We've gained two bishops, or two, two uh, vassals. This guy's not that great. Nothing to write home about. 
And this tithing man's decent. He's tall. Trained fighter. Actually likes me pretty well for me being a, a brand new leash to him. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's move our guy one, one county over to there. So that we're actually within that duchy. We're going to have a truce with this guy, but we can murder him, maybe. And apparently I've forgotten to plot. Oh, that's right. We succeeded in our plot. That means that that silly... We've got a new one. Will you give me your title? No. Fabricate evidence of Prince Bishop something. That's what I'm looking for. Prince Bishop. Prince Bishop. Prince Bishop. Accuse Archbishop... No, that's not it. I don't understand how... Wh why isn't it on here again? Oh, we can plot to embezzle. Well, now I'm tempted to do that. Um, hmm. Okay, let's do this. Plot. Conspire to gain the Kingdom of England. Fabricate a claim, I think. Let's just see if we can fabricate a claim. So to successfully fabricate it, we would have a 90% chance if we can get at least five backers and 100% plot power. One, two, three. Only three people would support me. So we could do this one. We could definitely get enough plot power. 60% chance, 40% chance of pissing him off. That sounds like a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, and I have to get rid of this title. Uh, let's see. It's recently conquered, so let's... Oh, these are big... I like these. These are huge and clear and easy to see. This expires in 1083, five years, and different culture group, 1085. Well, that's only seven years. That's good. It looks like they reduced the duration of the penalty. Well, it doesn't make any money, so we'll just uh, we'll give that title away. <coughs> Let's search the realm for men who are not in prison. Any marriage, not ruler. Yes, culture, yes, religion. Yes, adult. And let's see if we can import any fantastic people. We can get a pretty good spy master, 18. But I don't really want to. What about this genius? I think we've tried to give him land before and he won't accept. Um, could use a new diplomat, even though this guy did successfully fabricate a claim for me. Conservative, that's new. This character does not like change and is perfectly happy with the status quo. The Enlightenment is far, far away, but your peers appreciate. Okay. Musician. Talented musician. Keen on showing everyone how good he is. General opinion plus ten. Nice. Celibate. Looks the same. All right, I'm just going to settle on a high stewardship character who is Saxon, like me. You. Nope. You? You're celibate. Nope. Where, where'd that other celibate character go? The court chaplain of York. Yeah, you would... Oh, what's that? Another cardinal. Hmm. Can't give land to him either. This is taking a lot longer than I want it to. How about you, steward of Canterbury? No. Am I doing this wrong or something? Normally, at least some of these people will accept. This character is ill. There we go. You can have the Shire of... Blah, blah, blah. And that's just a shire, and I'm a duke, so yes, this is fine. And you want to get married. But you already love me, so I'll let you deal with it on your own. <sighs> no, that's a bad idea. I should, I should do it. I should take care of it so that he likes me even better. In case I piss him off later. But this one's attractive. I want her. I think I had a kid with this one, didn't I? Yeah, it's just, no, you can't have my, my lover. Deal with it yourself. <clears throat> She's my plaything. Okay, so we're waiting for a couple more people to join our plot. And, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, that one sounds good. Intriguing plot. So now we have enough supporters, and let's see what happens. Now, I'm, I want you to note, this is important, because I think some Let's Players are known for save scumming. Save scumming is defined as saving the game and then clicking an event to see what happens. And if you don't get what you want, you reload the save. 
So I'll have you know that, you know, we're 20 minutes into a video. Obviously, I can't be save scumming because I've played for 20 minutes. I'd have to restart if I actually reloaded my previous save. So if this goes well, great. If it, do, if it goes poorly, then I'm fine with that. But we have a 60% chance of this going well, 40% chance of it failing, and I don't really know what's going to happen. So let's find out. Not only have you failed. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry for the language if you're a younger viewer. Uh, not only have you failed to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of England, but your efforts have been discovered. King Harold is none too pleased. This will take some explaining. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. So, yeah. Well, he still feels decently about me, at least. Let's check it out from the Realm Tree. Um, I think that, yeah. Opinion of Morkar the First. That's me. Yep. Oh, it's probably not reflected in the time yet. Let's let a day tick and now check it. Huh. That's weird. They trade me for money. Minus 50. I don't get it. I just read that it was going to say that he would like me to buy 50 less, but I don't see the modifier. Interesting. Seems broken to me. Oh, well. Okay. Well, in the next episode, we're going to plot to do it again. I think. Can't we just do it again? Well, we'll find some other thing that we can do. Thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next video.